The Minnesota State High School League has the framework for starting the winter sports season by as early as December 21st, but everything is contingent on the governor's orders. It's very possible Governor Walls will extend the current shutdown, which is scheduled to end December 19th. Mark Palos has more on a situation that's fluid and full of challenges. Winter sports may be on the horizon. Today, the MSHSL approved three potential start dates for winter sports. The first is on December 21st. The second, January 4th. The third potential date is two weeks later, on January 18th. The theme to all this madness, sports can start as soon as the governor's office deems it safe. I think that's been the theme of 2020. It's uh, prepare for everything, you know, and uh, we've, we've obviously had multiple calendars already this year. Now we're staring at two or three different options, and you know, in all honesty, uh, if things keep going crazy, we could be dealing with more calendars. So it's, I think it's a moving target all year long. It's been a moving target for almost a full year of sports now. Coronavirus's effect on the sports world started last March, when winter sports were nearing their completion. Most of our winter coaches didn't have an opportunity to experience the COVID you know, shutdowns. The, you know, our boys basketball team was literally shut down on the section championship day, and that was the beginning of this. So we've come full circle. The governor's executive order is set to expire on December 19th. The MSHSL's earliest plan to start sports would be on the following Monday, but that is in the absolute best case scenario. They put a December calendar out there, but that, you know, I think it really looks like that's going to be a you know a, a hard one to hit with what's going on. So I think the January calendars are probably the most realistic. But you know I know that we put all of those together just in case. And I guess that's the name of the game. Be ready if uh, if we can. In Rochester, Mark Paulos, KTDC Sports. In all of this, there is a strong push to make sure winter sports does not interfere with spring sports because of last year, there weren't any spring sports. There was no vote on state tournaments for winter or spring.